For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given these equations, a raised to the fourth power plus 11a squared b squared plus b raised to the fourth power equals 493, and a cubed b plus a times b cubed equals 78, wherein a and b are both real numbers, then our goal in this question is to find the numerical value or values of a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. So I'd like to thank our followers for sending us a lot of math problems every single day. And this one is a bit harder. So let's answer this question. Our goal in this question is to find the numerical value of a squared plus a b plus b squared. And we know also that a and b are both real numbers. Now, notice in the second equation, if we factor out a b in the left hand side, we get something like a b multiplied by a squared plus b squared. So let's replace this with its factored form. Now your question is why we do that. Because we want the value of a squared plus b squared plus a b, we can rewrite this like in this form. So we have here a b and we have here a squared plus b squared. So maybe this factored form is a way to answer this kind of question or this is a hint to answer this kind of question. But the question is how do we rewrite the first equation in the form a b multiplied by a squared plus b squared or containing a b and a squared plus b squared. So one thing is let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And now we have a raised to the fourth power plus b raised to the fourth power. So let's complete this square. So what we're going to do is to add 2a squared b squared on this expression. So if we add 2a squared b squared, we need to subtract 2a squared b squared. So this is just 0. In short, we only add 0. Now, a raised to the fourth power plus 2a squared b squared plus b raised to the fourth power, we can factor this out nicely at a squared plus b squared raised to the second power. So we can replace this with its factored form. Now, if we simplify these expressions, 11a squared b squared minus 2a squared b squared, this is just 9a squared b squared. And this a squared b squared, we can rewrite this as ab raised to the power of 2. And now from here, notice that both equations containing a squared plus b squared and the product of a and b. Now let's set aside this result and let's use another variable to replace a squared plus b squared and a b. So let's call n be equal to a times b and m equals a squared plus b squared. Therefore, a b plus a squared plus b squared is just n plus m. So our goal now, the new goal, is to find the value of n plus m. Also, we can transform our given equations as follows. So the first equation, we can rewrite this as m squared plus 9n squared equals 493. And the second equation, we can transform this into n times m equals 78. Now from here, this is a pure algebra, so let's find the value of n plus m. So to do that, let's use the first equation. So we have m squared plus 9n squared equals 493. Now this 9, this is just 3 squared. And 3 squared n squared, we can rewrite this as 3 times n raised to the power of 2. Now, let's complete this square. So to complete this square, let's add and subtract 6mn. Because m squared plus 6mn plus 3n raised to the power of 2, we can factor this out nicely. Because this is a perfect square trinomial. So we can factor this out as m plus 3n raised to the power of 2. So we can replace this with its factored form. Now the reason is we know the value of m times n. This is just 78. So we can replace this product m and n with 78. Now negative 6 times 78, this is just 468. Now, add 468 on both sides, 
and for 193 plus 468 this will give us 961 surprisingly 961 is a perfect square all right so to get the value of m plus 3n let's square on both sides let's get the square root on both sides rather so we have two possible values here we have positive or negative square root of 961 now again 961 is a perfect square so its square root must be equal to 31 so m plus 3n must be equal to positive or negative 31 but which one is correct positive 31 or negative 31 now take note m is just a squared plus b squared and since a and b are both real numbers a squared is a positive real number and b squared is also a positive real number therefore m is greater than zero or a positive real number now since we know that m is a positive real number and n times m is a positive 78 it also follows that this n must be also greater than zero or a positive real number also it follows if m is positive n is positive m plus 3n cannot be a negative number therefore we can say that m plus 3n must be equal to positive 30 one all right now at this point let's use the second equation n times m equals 78 and let's solve for the value of m in terms of n so m equals 78 over n now let's replace this m with 78 over n and we can also for the value of n again n is a positive real number so if we multiply all of this term by n we get 78 plus 3n squared equals 31 n so let's replace this let's use this equation now let's rearrange some terms a little bit and let's equate this to zero and in this part we will use our factoring skills and if we factor this out we get something like 3n minus 13 multiplied by n minus 6 so let's replace this with its factored form now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. And we can also solve for the value of n. Take note, we want positive real value for n. n is a positive real number. So, in the first equation, let's add 13 on both sides and divide by 3 on both sides. So, n equals positive 13 over 3. This is good. And on the second equation, add 6 on both sides. So, n equals positive 6. And to solve for the value of m, we will use this equation because we know that m equals 78 over n. Now, if we want to find the value of m, if n is 13 over 3, so 78 over 13 over 3, we get that the value of m must be equal to positive 18. This is also okay. And also, if n is 6, 78 divided by 6, m must be equal to 13. And this is also okay because m here is a positive number. Now, take note, our goal in this question is to find the sum of n and m, or simply the value of ab plus a squared plus b squared. So, let's add n and m. On the first equation, if we add 13 over 3 plus 18, we get a total of 67 over 3. So, that is the first sum of n and m. And if we add 6 and 13, absolutely, we get positive 19. And take note, this n plus m, this n plus m is just the value of a squared plus b squared plus a, b. And that is our answer to this question. So, given these two equations, a raised to the fourth power plus 11, a squared b squared plus b raised to the fourth power equals 493, and a cube b plus a b cube equals 78 then the numerical values of a b plus a squared plus b squared must be equal to 67 over 3 or 19 and as always we are done